Please welcome to the stage the live from here radio players. Good afternoon, students. Welcome to Juilliard. I'm Dr. Bassandra, your instructor for jazz performance. To begin, please state your name, your instrument, and play a few bars for us. Maybe something that represents you. Okay. Um, my name is John. I play the melodica. I'll give it a try. Very good. I know. <laughs> Next. Hi, I'm Terry, violin. Good. Next. Hi, my name is Breeze, and I play the upright bass. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Good Lord, that was horrendous. <laughs> it's clear you have no qualifications. I mean, this is Juilliard. How did you even get in here? My mom's Felicity Huffman. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back to CARE 11 News. I'm Mindy McAvoy. And I'm Richard Whistle. And well, today is March 15th, and all of you know what that means. That's right, it's the Ides of March, the day Julius Caesar was poked to death by his buddies way back in 44 BC, and of course made famous in a play by William Shakespeare. It's also this day, every year, without fail, <laughs> our weatherman, Duncan Futterman, insists on doing the weather report as William Shakespeare. Yeah, it's pretty fun. No, it's not. <laughs> well, to him it is. Let's go down to Duncan now. God ye good den, sirrah, but lo, what vision for our eyes doth appear. Tis not Futterman, but Shakespeare. <sighs> Great. Uh, Master Shakespeare, doth thou have it, the weathereth reporteth foreth up? <laughs> Verily I do, good lady. <laughs> okay, can you just say the weather so we can get to sports, please? Ah, Master Richard grows cross and pregnant with impatience. But if a man grows cross, is he not a church? Oh. And were he full of patience, mayhap he is a hospital. <laughs> I say, make up your mind, sir. Art thou man or municipal building? <laughs> I jibe and play the fool to please the court, yet I shan't stand twixt Richard and his sport. Are you done? Oh, so clever, don't you think? Do the weather, Futterman. I prithee, friends, attend this wretched tale. For not long nigh cometh a winter's gale. Why does he gotta sound like a fancy Dr. Seuss? He, he, he said we're gonna get a storm. A Richard. storm indeed of ample bodied measure, the bastard fruit of polar vortex pressure. Oh. Sounds cold, let's move along. A tempest breweth, much like your insides, upon hearing a word you can't abide. Oh, no, no, no. It's not that I don't like one particular word. I hate all of these words. It's like being trapped in a renaissance fair. Oh, in oh, thus he rages on and on, this shallow, tiddly-pricked leviathan. What did he say? Oh, I think he called you a dumb whale with a tiny little... That's it. You know what? I'm coming down there. Oh, I must away. The weather wanes dramatic. But one word quick, Sir Dick's anticlimactic. <laughs> Anticlimatic, a weather pun, so good. Well, that's it until next year. Uh, oh, I'll be back on April 26th. Oh, uh, why is that? It's Shakespeare's birthday. Oh. Get over here, Futterman. 